<clears throat> Good morning, y'all. Fanatics. I think it's day six. You know, I ain't done this in a while, you know. Um, I'm going to get straight to what I want to talk about. And we still on hip-hop, you know. And uh, I got to go straight to what inspired me to do another day, Fanatics. Because hip-hop is in a bad state. It needs to just... It's, I did this... I wanted to start this vlog to to show you who easily done was and what makes me work. It's not all hip hop. I love girls. You know, we could talk about I could really really talk about the the things me and the, me and uh me and these girls me and these girls get to discussing. You feel me? Like the direction conversations go, what I see what I believe they why they go the thing they go why I'm still single and got no kids you feel me and it's like that's not I can't go there yet man cuz I don't know I might get to woman bashing I don't, I don't know there's not time for that right now it'll be a time for that or talk about sports you know the NBA how whack it is right now cuz I'm still mad at Kevin Durant being a Golden State warrior and I'm like kid like I used to love this kid, right? I was a Kevin Durant. That's my nigga. Because he just got this. To be that high and can shoot and dribble. I'm like look, like LeBron. These are like watching God create literal just baby giants with gifts. And let them just do their thing on a court. But you really can see just God created this man to be an athlete. Right? But I ain't even watching the NBA, so. But what inspired me to do this one, man, I just watched um, The Breakfast Club. And for y'all don't know what The Breakfast Club is, it's it's a radio show that uh, prospered into an online show, uh, hip-hop oriented. You know, Charlemagne the God, DJ MV, and Angela Yee, right? And they had this kid on there, a new artist. His name's 6 9 And, you know, 6 9 is this new age. He's on top of the game right now. He got hits. I'm not going to lie to you. I don't really bump his shit. I don't fuck with the kid like that. What already throws me off is how you appear, bro. I'm not going to fuck with no nigga that's... First of all, your name is 6 9 as in 69 Nigga, yeah, I love pussy too. I'm gonna, I, you know, I do 69 with girls, but for that to be your name, okay, that's like already was like okay. And then you know the rainbow hair, rainbow teeth, and I'm not trying to. And I seen the kid like, you know, I always gonna give a person a chance in rap. That's what hip hop is to me. I don't hate. I'm a. I'm. I'm. I'm not from that generation, but I always forever will wait to hear that next future star of rap like that i feel like man this kid is carrying the torch and i feel like there's a big lack of that right now now what i do respect is if that's what the younger generation likes i can't knock it the man is on top like he said he got i'm seeing his videos got hundreds of millions of views mad props to that you know mad props you doing your thing kid Mad props that you from NY. You bo you in Brooklyn. I was born now. But now, you know, more my criticism comes in is like, you know, humility is something, bro. It's real, man. It's not nothing to fuck with to not know that there's a difference between confidence and cockiness, bro. And that that no generate no nothing now wasn't paved the way by something before it. And I just I just peep that it's like these new generation, you know, I seen um I ain't even look into dude what's uh little Zan was had a comment about Tupac. I didn't even pay attention because I'm like, I don't even listen to Zan and you talking about a legend. So it was already like what what the fuck? And it was like I'm not even gonna begin to get myself angry. 
to know that this 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 young artist is disrespecting somebody who paved the way for him, bro. How can you say anything about Park? How can you? Just because he, he's not of your generation, but y'all don't understand nothing about what y'all are doing. Like, what I don't understand is, this is why I had to bring, you know, I had to do a blog. I watched 6 9 and it's like, nobody wants to acknowledge what helped them, what they listened to, to make them be an artist. You know? And I also blame The Breakfast Club for not, it's basic fundamentals of rap. Like, y'all know that shit. There's no way in hell, listen... I don't give a fuck what no nigga tell me, young or old. You cannot be a rapper, regardless of how much you lack lyrics, without somebody you listened to when you were younger that influenced you. That shit doesn't come out the sky. It don't. It's a craft. It's a craft that that's why younger people and my generation start to have a divide because younger generations just absolutely don't want to acknowledge nothing before them. They just like, it's just whatever they're doing now is it. What was before them just ain't shit no more. And I'm like, listen, I understand that you might be harder than these guys of the past, but just respect the craft, bro. Respect the fact that you know you listened to somebody when you were younger that made you want to even attempt to put shit on a microphone and put words on pads. You know, people claim they don't write. Whatever way you create a rhyme, you know? And and I don't know, man. I just can't stand that shit, man. It just bothers the fuck out of me that rappers has gone to this direction so bad that people are just disrespecting shit that was before them, you know? You got a child, right? How would you feel as soon as your child is capable of even talking, they just start disrespecting you? Like, you ain't doing nothing for me, but nigga, I'm putting food on your table. You know what I mean? This roof over your head. The same thing our parents taught us. And that's really what's just wrong with life in general, period. You know, I've had things that my mom raised me by herself. You know, I saw my dad later in life, but he he abandoned us. So that was already one when I did see him again, like, don't forget that nigga, for real. But as much as I have things my mom did that I don't agree with, she's the, she's the lady that worked her ass off and fed me, and I eat a lot, for real. And she know that. And put a roof over my head and I watched my mom be sick and still try to work you know and taught me God so it's like it's a fundamental of life to know that somebody came before you to pave the way for you and this kid you know he's extra fucking cocky man it's like there's no balance you know what I'm saying it's no it's nothing, it's, it's no balance. It's no yin and yang with shit no more, man. And you know what? It's really beyond rap. But the reason why I stand so hard with hip-hop, because hip-hop, for me, showed me how to walk life the way I walk it. I listen to the artists that are lyricists when I grew up listening. Nas was like that nigga to me. You know, and when I heard 6 9 mentioning, you know, and I don't want to keep, you know what? And I heard the kid like talking like, oh man, you know, when I get on this show, you're never going to have, like, I'm going to put more, like, the views I give you, you're not going to see views like this from nothing else. I guarantee you. And I'm like, I hope to God that even if I, I don't touch no type of views, if a nigga see me, you know, mention his name and that shit brings up any type of reaction, I'm not doing that for that. I'm doing that because I'm a fan of this craft, bro. And that shit touched me to say something, man. You feel me? And baby, I had, you know, normally I wouldn't even say a nigga name. You know what I mean? But that shit's so big, you might as well, I might as well just say the nigga name, bro. You feel me? I had a blog before 
and it was another artist who disrespected. But I'm like, I just that nigga is another one I just don't like, you know. And I I ain't gonna say I don't like nothing. I just don't listen to your music, bro. I don't fuck with you as an artist. If I saw you as a street and a person, the way you present yourself, I wouldn't fuck with you as a person. You wear women's clothes? Nah, man. I ain't gonna fuck with the nigga who wear women's clothes, man. I'm a man, dog. You know, it's just off to me. Like, why are you wearing women's clothes? You know, because it looks what on you? Okay, like, that's just questionable to me. We live in a lot of questionable shit now. And Buddy was just dumb confident. And you know what? In general, how I was born in New York, and I live in Miami now, and I see New Yorkers in Miami, and I see things about New Yorkers. I love NYC. This is the, this is the place where hip-hop birthed from. You know, but it's an arrogance about New York that is super, like, negative to me. You know, you can't be that arrogant no more knowing hip-hop has grown past being NYC anymore like that. You know, that was why Pac went up against New York with him being born in New York, too, because he felt that way, in my opinion. You know, and it's just, it's, I don't know, man. I mean, this is why I do these vlogs. Like, I'll just wait for the day because I know, listen, I, I, I do one day I'm going to make the effort to become bigger as an artist, to do what it takes to put myself out there more. It's It's been a process with me because I am the nigga of this craft and I've always felt for years my shit wasn't raw enough as much as another motherfucker thought it was. I'm like, nigga, this shit is whack in my standard, but if you feeling it, I'll put it out there, you know? And it's like, that's what's missing, you know? It's a craft. It's, it's lyrics to this, man. You got to write them words down and rhyme it to the next word. It's got to go to a beat in rhythm, you know? It's a craft. You cannot deny that. I don't give a fuck. You make, you know, and a beat can be harder than a man's lyrics all day. And, you know, that's a lot of the trend I see nowadays. You know, y'all niggas beats. Some of that shit is like, mm. But when I hear what this rapping in, it's like, okay, can I just get the intro? Why this mixtape niggas? Like, they just jump on y'all beats and clown. It'll be a hundred niggas. You know, but... We just got to do better because really you got to understand when you see a mentality that's carried and then you watch the news and see the shit that goes on. Mass shootings. People getting shot by police. It's spirit, man. You know, God created hip hop, man. Let me give you the ultimate proof that this is Everything is of God, but as well hip-hop. And we just lose sense of that power, you know. And this ain't a this ain't a, a religious thing either. But me as an artist, you listen to my shit, I'm mentioning God. If there's ever a conflict with any person who's going to support or help me get there, and I feel like your spirituality is wrong, that shit over with. Like, before that man can speak to me, like, you need to tighten up, you know. Like, that's just how I'm going to move. It's just going to be that. But when you see that type of shit, that spirit grows, man. That spirit, you see it on the news every day, man. Mass shootings in schools, man. And you can't blame an artist for what's happening in that type of, in life, period. You can't. Everybody's responsible for their own actions. But we all know, you know, there's things beyond the flesh all day. You know, you can, you can... Be an atheist, you can believe in God, but you notice your conscience lets you know that. Your instincts is all that. You know what I mean? So the man was arrogant, man. It was too arrogant. It was ridiculous arrogance. And Breakfast Club fucking up too by, I feel like the questioning was, could have been directed better. The man could have been asked who influenced him. Like, you just could have came straight up. Like, like for real, for real, bro. Somebody made you want to rap, and they never came to that. Or there was a point when Charlemagne spoke to 6 9 and 6 9 did not know. He, he got lost to what the definition of persona was. 
Charlemagne noticed that, and instead of really taking the time to teach the brother, he took off on that and went to, oh, let me talk to the OGs. Like, it annoyed him that much, and it's like, bro, listen, no, for real, you should have just took your time to explain persona. He really just might not understand the definition of that word. It's not that hard to teach a person either. See what I'm saying? You see, it's a whole bunch of misdirection and miseducation going on. Ignorance can grow to being some ugly shit, bro. But you know, I ain't wanna. You know, I'm just. A, I'm just like, man. You know, it's it's amazing how things work out. Cause you know, I ask myself all the time. I know I do this thing very well. You know, y'all can check my music out all day, and I know I'm good at rap. It might not be a lot of views behind it, but I know I does this because I see separation with people who try to make music with me all the time, and they'll tell me quick that I'm a level ahead with words or with actions. But it's because I've respected the things that go beyond hip-hop. And we just got to get back to that. And maybe you start with something like that, things in life might get to a better place, man, in other areas. Just like I said with sports, with Kevin Durant being a Golden State Warrior, and it's like, dog, K K D K D man. Like, your skill set should never want to play with another MVP caliber player like Curry, and he's already got Thompson on his wing and, and, and Draymond Green. For Once that shit happened, I mean, I literally lost love from the NBA so bad. I didn't really like when LeBron and Wade joined up. It's like y'all niggas don't have no heart for competition, man. Championships just can't be won like that. I know Mike set a standard, but goddamn. Like, your life won't be over if you don't win a ring, my nigga. You making millions of fucking dollars playing fucking basketball, man. That's the shit I'm... That's just it, man. It's just fanatics. I still love basketball. The NCAA tournament, go Duke all day. You know what I mean? I love that. That is basketball at its finest. Them kids play their hearts out for that shit. You know, that's all I wanted this to be, man. Just, you know, man, I don't know, man. I just I had to express myself. A nigga watched that shit and it just ate at my soul. The, 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 just where he at mentally. The kid seemed like he got very good intellect, you know, but he's young. You got to be directed. You're not, just because you're doing well and you're young, you're not at a ultimate level in life. You never will. I'm I'm older than you, bro, and I've got so many things to learn about life, man. That shit never stops, man. You got a child now. It never stops. And I'm not trying to throw salt, you know. It's just how I feel. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know, man. That, 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 that thing could have went so many different directions, you know. Even me personally, if I would have interviewed him, I would have said, bro, I don't even want to talk about this shit because it's kind of dumb to me. Let's, I want to talk about you. if you if. But, you know, he as an artist has a right to, you know, how he wanted the, the interview to go, you know. And he was doing his thing. Mad props to that, man. Mad props to the things you're doing out there, kid. I swear I ain't no hater, man. I swear. I meet the kid, dap him up because that's a Brooklyn night. That's what I fucked with him for. I saw the Brooklyn swag was dumb. You know what I mean? Like, I was like, oh, that boy from Brooklyn, I didn't even know that. You feel me? But I don't know, man. I mean, shit, you know, I might get a backlash. Motherfucker don't give a fuck. But, you know, I give a fuck about hip hop, man. For real. I do, man. I give a fuck about this genre. You know, I would never disrespect these kids that are, these, these dudes who are older than me. Like Jay, you know, how old is Jay? And that nigga's still doing it. Like, that's, we should love that. We should celebrate that. Rap is not sports, nigga. If your voice and mind still work, what the fuck you should stop rapping for? You still got fans. Fuck a damn that you ain't number one. There's all kind of artists who been doing rap music that's, that were the top on the radio, but we didn't fuck with them in the streets because it's like it's some corny, just some hit shit. But I'm going to lead on that. You know, I try to keep these things a certain time frame, man. You know, easily done. Check me out, YouTube, that piff. You know, it's about the music. Hardaway Entertainment. You know, a cat got a song out talking about Hardaway. Uh, my shit been out. I ain't got that shit, whatever, copyrighted. But don't ever let a motherfucker think, you know, that his shit got me calling Hardaway. I named my shit for my basketball ties, Tim and Penny. And I had a homeboy I used to rap with, you know. But it's still Hardaway all day. Fanatics.
I still love this shit. Be blessed. Done.